morning. I am Professor Augustine Osorongkware, the Deputy Vice Chancellor and is Chancellor of uh, Academic and Student Affairs, Rongo University. At the university, we train uh, students for higher learning. We give them degrees and diploma, among other certifications. The division of uh, the uh, academic and uh, student affairs is divided into two, two subdivisions. There's the student welfare subdivision, which is headed by the Dean of Students. The division, subdivision is in charge of uh, student counseling, student associations, clubs and societies. Then we have a subdivision in charge of academic affairs. It is headed by a registrar academic affairs. That subdivision is in charge of registration, teaching, examinations, and developing schedules for these activities, namely the timetables. The teaching is done in departments and that activity is also overseen by the schools. The departments are run by heads of department and the schools are run by the deans of schools. The division also provides Secretariat services to the Senate. The Senate is the highest academic organ of the university and it's in charge of outlining and approving the academic programs, the types of examinations, and also graduation uh, lists. At the division, we are happy that uh, you have joined Rongo University and we wish to congratulate you for your excellent performance at for your Form 4 examinations. We welcome you to our university and we are willing to work with you for the following four or so years that you will be with us in this journey of learning for your degrees and your diplomas. We expect that while you are with us for the period that you'll stay with us four years or whatever number of years, we are going to give you good training that will lead to excellent skills development and make you competent as university graduates. We expect that you, on your part, will attend all the classes and learn all the good habits that will enable you to develop into good citizens of Kenya who are useful to yourself, the community and the country and humanity at large. Of course, we know you are in the development stage of your lives and there are very many things that you learn when you are at university. Some of these things I want to play a big role in how you will go on after graduation. These are the things that we generally call 
soft skills. We're just hoping that together we'll give you good soft skills that will enable you to go out and compete effectively in the job market, but also help you to become employers, not just employees, because we know out there there are all sorts of opportunities that are available for you either to get employment or to become employers. Of course, like all societies, at university there will be forces and activities that might take you away from what you really came to university to do. We request you to be strong and be focused on your education so that you get your certificates at the end of this exercise rather than fail to get the certificates or overstay uh, the learning process at the university. We also know that maybe for the first time you are now to be free to manage your financial resources, for example, to manage your living expenses and so on and so forth. And we look up to you to take good care of the resources that may have been given to you by your parents, your guardians, your benefactors for the purpose of making you grow in your academic life. And uh, together we will overcome any impediments. We will make you excellent graduates, good citizens of Kenya and the world. Thank you very much. I wish you success in this endeavor and we will work together whenever there is an issue please consult with our officers, including my office, for a way forward in your activities. Thank you. Now I wish to invite Engineer Professor Stanley Shitote, who is the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Administration, Finance and Planning, to talk to the audience. Thank you. Professor. Thank you very much, Professor Nguare, DVC Asa, for the opportunity to talk to the students. As you have been told, my name is Stanley Shitote. I am the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Administration, Finance and Planning. To all of you joining us to start your studies here, I wish to say welcome to Rongo University. We have a unique orientation ceremony this year, occurring as it is online. It is unprecedented, and we all know it is due to the coronavirus pandemic that has so much changed the way we do things. However, we can see that whatever the circumstances, man will always devise ways to continue with the various activities of life. And so, here you are, starting your first year of study at the university, in spite of the pandemic. I'll talk to you briefly about the Administration, Finance and Planning Division of the University. It is one of the two major divisions of the University, the other being the Academic and Student Affairs Division. We often refer to our division as the AFP Division. In general, the division provides support services to ensure the smooth running of the core activities of the university. The AFP division handles, among others, the following. Human resource services, and that is all matters pertaining to the staff required for the operation of the university. Administrative services, such as repair and maintenance of facilities, water supply, energy infrastructure, and central services. 
The division also deals with the, de with the development of new infrastructure. And indeed, if you visit the campus, you'll find a number of projects under construction. There is the hostels and catering services. Uh, the university has limited accommodation facilities on campus, but we also support students as much as possible to settle in accommodation outside the university by linking them to the landlords. The division also develops and implements long-term plans for the university, provides health services and transport services. We also offer financial services and for the financial services, indeed, we have a system which I believe you have all interacted with during your registration process. You will need to be on campus to experience most of the services offered by the division. More information will be provided by various officers coordinating the services. And I am sure in the coming weeks, the conditions will change and allow us to meet on campus. However, in the meantime, we'll continue to serve you by ensuring an adequate platform to support this remote interaction. As you are aware, many institutions worldwide have adopted this means of communication. We cannot be left behind. I sincerely hope that your respective circumstances will allow you a good connection to the university. I wish you a good experience as you start your university life and throughout your whole time at the university. Thank you. And now, it is my humble pleasure to welcome our Vice-Chancellor, Professor Samuel Gudu, to address you. Thank you. The Deputy Vice-Chancellors, Deans and Directors, Heads of Departments and Subsections, Staff and Students, Ladies and Gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you for the excellent performance at KECSE examinations where a total of 699,745 candidates sat but where only 125,449 obtained grade C and above and hence were admitted to the university. We thank God for your performance and once again, I congratulate you. Rongo University is a vibrant, in, a vibrant institution whose vision, mission, and core values reflect the aspirations of Kenyan society. The vision is to become a world-class, technology-driven university in learning and practice. To this end, the university has put in place measures and strategies to complement the ongoing government effort to attain the Big Four Agenda, Kenya Vision 2030, and the Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations. The university offers programs in pure and applied sciences, social sciences, humanities, arts, and education, training technologists and technicians conducting research on food and nutrition. The university is a multicultural and cohesive society that promotes the coexistence among the various cultures. It also provides equal opportunity to all qualified, willing and aspiring scholars. As such, admission to any program is based purely on merit and not in any other consideration. Here, we champion success with trade academics and promote progressive ideas and cultures. To the academic enthusiasts, we will support you, but to the detractors, we will scold you. I am aware that this has been a hectic week for you, as you struggled to register, tried to familiarize yourself with various facilities and staff online, 
Many of you must be wondering what university life looks like. I can assure you that the scenario and the parameters in the university are so different from your high school experience. The living environment so different from that of your family background. However, I reiterate to you that where here everybody belongs and everyone finds a place, make it good to live. Assume you have come to the university to fish. Along the way, you will experience turbulence. Some of you will fall off the boat, others will sink in the raging academic waters. Some will come back empty-handed, while others will have their fail. The big question is, after two, three or four years, will you have weathered the storm? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk on administrative matters. As you were told during an introduction and brief remarks, the university has two divisions coordinated by two deputy vice chancellors, one in charge of academic and student affairs, while the other in charge of administration, finance and planning. There are six teaching schools, namely School of Agriculture and Natural Resource and Environmental Studies, Arts and Social Sciences, Business and Human Resource Development, School of Education, School of Information, Communication and Media Studies, and Science, Technology and Engineering. We have 15 teaching departments. The teaching is done on semester with main academic calendar starting in September and ending in April of the following year. There are also three directorates, namely Directorate of Privately Sponsored Student Program, Directorate of Open and Decent E-Learning, and Directorate of Quality Assurance. Various university units include finance, health, central services, estates, academic affairs, staff affairs, and transport, just to mention a few. In terms of academic matters, the university offers market-driven certificate, diploma, bachelor's, and postgraduate programs. There are already over 6,000 students whom you will be joining. Here we value quality education and therefore strive to provide an environment that stimulates our curiosity to learn and to innovate. Over the last six years, the university has graduated 4,567 students and many more will graduate during the next graduation in, in December this year. In terms of resources, the university has endeavored to provide adequate physical facilities to enhance quality education and facilitate the development of conducive learning environment. Just like in any other establishment, these resources are not always adequate. Whenever there are issues or inadequacies, I urge you to be part of the solution. We shall also remain proactive in ensuring we meet your expectations. Accordingly, we have embarked on ambitious programs to upgrade our teaching and learning facilities. To this end, the construction of a five-story tuition block is near completion. Construction of a 4,000-seater uh, library is underway, and we are also constructing a new gate at the university entrance. We shall also purchase additional equipment and supplies for our science and computer laboratories. Last but not least, we shall upscale automation of most of our services for efficient service delivery. In terms of human resource, during your stay, you will interact with competent and industrious staff carefully recruited to offer efficient and effective academic and administrative services to you. We shall remain at your service at your point of need. In terms of co-curricular activities, Rongo University will promote wholesome growth and development of our students. Therefore, we encourage students to, pay, to spare time to take up any of the available games, sports, music, and drama opportunities. 
we undertake to continue to sponsor winning teams to represent the university in various national and local events. In terms of innovation, the university supports staff and students to come up with viable innovations or invention through sponsorship to showcase the projects at exhibitions, trade fairs and National Science Week, only to mention a few. Some of the recent inventions by st staff and students include the production of fuel from potatoes and production of sorghum cultivars which are resistant to diseases and drought. All students are expected to pay all fees at the beginning of each semester. Going forward, we shall not allow any student without we shall not allow any student with stand, outstanding fee to attend classes or sit examinations and the students shall be advised to defer studies. Furthermore, observe academic deadlines, include those two for registration and for course and examinations. It is your responsibility, absolute responsibility, to make adequate prior arrangements to clear fees before the beginning of the following semester. Remember setting examination without clearing fees contravenes the rules and regulations and will lead to expulsion. Now few words of advice. Ladies and gentlemen, as you begin your academic journey, I urge you to follow things that catch your imagination. In addition, take care and respect the deadlines. During your studies, you will encounter numerous deadlines which must be respected. Some of these deadlines include submission of term papers, take-home assignments, registration for courses, or examinations, among others. Your ability to, to wade through and become outstanding scholar will be tested through simple issues such as respect of deadlines. The university is a trying society. Do not try to reinvent yourself too much. Do not try too hard to fit into a system that you don't understand very well. I know you will be tempted to join certain groups and or act in ways, certain ways that don't necessarily reflect you. Socialize with people with common interests and values. Some of the available issue-based societies that you you may consider to join include Christian Union, Scouts Association, Debating Society, and many others. However, we do not allow formation of ethnic or regional clubs and societies. Find support whenever it is necessary. The faculty will always be available to teach and help you to attain your goal in life. We will mentor you and respond to your interests, to your curiosity, and to your in invitations. Do not suffer in silence. Seek assistance from classmates, student leaders, and staff of the university. If there is something you really want to do, some curiosity that you want to pursue, make sure that you do, know, you do it and don't let anything stand in your way especially if it does not disturb the other students. Management of, of time. I would urge you to manage your time very well. Avoid issues that will distract and lead you to procrastinate. Avoid such distractions like mobile phones, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp during your study time. I urge you to plan your time well and by using a calendar and checklist. Be organized and focused on the task at hand. Remember, time saved is like an investment. You should also ensure that you get enough sleep, sleep in order to remain active throughout the day. The library is amazing. Make it your second home for it promotes progression of knowledge. Besides being a place to do assignments, the library will develop your vocabulary, enhance your comprehension, 
and general positive impact on your achievements. Be prepared always. Be always in the lookout and prepared for opportunities that may arise in your environment. There are numerous opportunities in the university, in the areas of extracurricular, athletics, games, sports, music, and drama. Those experiences will have a huge impact on, on many of you. But I hope that none of you will lose sight of how special this time is for you. It is a time to learn. It is a time to expose yourself to ideas that are completely different from what you have done before. The adage goes, choices have got consequences. Avoid overindulgence of any nature during your university life. Ensure that you, are, you have left enough time where you are free to also rest after studying. This freedom comes with its own social risks. I implore you to keep off activities that will not add value to your life in future. Such activities include use of drugs, cohabitation, living a lie, spending beyond your means, getting sponsors, HIV AIDS pandemic and now COVID, among others, must be avoided at all costs. The COVID-19 pandemic. The disease paralyzed all learning uh, institutions right from nursery to the universities. It, is, it has killed many Kenyans, Kenyans and may still kill more. Avoid activities that can risk your life. Observe self-hygiene and social distancing. Avoid crowded places. Be safe. Kenya still needs you. Ladies and gentlemen, with those many, many remarks, I wish you the most fulfilling and rewarding experience at this great university. As I conclude my remarks, may I also give opportunity to other members of the university to be able to share with you their life experiences when they were at this stage of life. The senior members of staff will include the deans and the deans of schools, heads of academic departments, and heads of sections within the university. They'll be able to give you some tips on how to survive in the university environment. Thank you, and may God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Benson Asugo, Dean of Students, Rongo University. First of all, may I welcome you for having chosen Rongo University as your place for advanced studies. We will share about the work of the Dean of Students in the University. The Dean of Students is an office that is in charge of student general welfare in the University. We are responsible to the Vice Chancellor through the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic and Students Affairs. The main functions coordinated by the Office of the Dean of Students are as follows. One, general students' welfare support, such as general guidance, social health, leave of absence from the university, bereavement, or loss of a student. Secondly, Students' discipline matters arising from complaints raised by a student, an officer of the university, or a member of the public. Three, student financial support system, such as higher education loans board, bursaries from the government, county government, constituencies, ward, and other organizations, and we also make recommendations to students for financial support from other organizations. Four, student mentorship and career services. Five, student guidance and counseling services. Six, student talent development through co-curricular activities such as sports, games, music, drama, and other recreational activities in the university. Uh, seven, student governance through the Rongo University Students Association. 
and lastly, coordination of alumni matters. May I urge every student to get a copy of rules and regulations governing the conduct and discipline of students of Rongo University from our website. Secondly, we have staff in the department who will be available to serve you whenever you reach us through phone contacts or when you visit the university. We have uh, myself, Benasugo, the Dean of Students. We also have Mr. Caleb Nyangono, who is the Head of Music, Drama, Games and Sports. We have Mr. Bernard Odeng as the Head of Careers and Alumni Matters. We have Ms. Mary Nyango, Secretary in the Office, and two other Office Administrators and Office Assistants. We are on duty from Monday to Friday every week between 8 and 5 p.m. In case of emergencies outside those hours, students are free to make phone calls to us for rapid response at any time, including weekends. For the time being, you can reach us through the following contacts, office email and telephone contacts, which you will be able to get from the university website. Uh, finally, we want to congratulate you once again and want you to wish you well and feel free always to contact the Office of the Dean of Students for any advice or consultation on any matters while you remain a student at Rongo University. May God bless you. I'm Dr. Bila James. I'm the head of ICT, that is Information, Communication and Technology, uh, Trongo University. I want to welcome all the students who have made a choice to join Rongo University. Rongo University is a world-class university. And with our department, we are here to support all of you to be able to attain the required skills in terms of technology in the services that you are going to provide after graduation. The role of ICT in this university will be to support you as a student in terms of information technology services that you may require during your stay here. The services entail our wonderful website that enable you to interact with other people worldwide and also enable you to access our university information. We also have various university portals that are tailor-made for the students. You will be able to get personalized services from these portals. For example, before you join here, you are able to do self-registration. At the comfort of your homes and where you, wherever you are, you are able to register courtesy of the ICT technologies at Rongo University. You have other services that you will enjoy uh, through our portals. We have admission systems, which you've also used. We have finance registration, which you've also used. We also have e-learning portal, which from now you'll be using to access your lecturers' uh, materials and interact effectively during your learning process. With us, as a service, we also have uh, Wi-Fi services at the university. For the residents around the university, you will be able to be given access to various Wi-Fi services at your comfort so that you can be able to access different materials for learning purposes. We also have email services. You will be assigned, or some of you have been assigned, email addresses based on their admission numbers. This will enable you to communicate to the various uh, departments and sections of the university as per your need. We also have Facebook 
uh, accounts. We also have uh, Twitter and Instagram through which you'll be able to have uh, real-time information and sharing of experiences with your colleagues in the university. Now we also have cheaper bundles, subsidized bundles, especially with Safaricom, which will enable you to access whitelisted sites. Whitelisted sites are sites that have been defined to enable you learn uh, or get services to the university and learn, learn globally. So with this, you'll be able to get uh, subsidized rates of access and services, especially library services, university e-learning portal services, and other educational sites will be accessed at subsidized rates. So all you need to do is to submit your telephone number, which we will be able to submit to Safaricom so that you're able to access these services at subsidized rates. Currently, Safaricom offers cheaper bundles at 500 shillings. You'll be able to access 10 gigabytes for a whole month. This can enable you to access uh, learning services through the e-learning portals and other uh, whitelisted sites so that at the comfort of your home or wherever you are, you are able to uh, get materials and interact with the lecturers. Uh, to be able to do this as a student, the minimum uh, requirement is that you must have a device, especially a smartphone, that has capability to access these services. To a, a minimum also, it's important that you have a laptop, a quality laptop that can enable you to a, a, access these services in your university uh, various platforms. Otherwise, I want to welcome you to uh, Turong University once more. We are here for you all the time for your well-being. Welcome to Rongo. Thank you. My name is Joel Wakesa Nakitare, the university librarian. I want to take this chance, just like many of my colleagues have already said, to congratulate and welcome you all to Rongo University. As university students, most of the time you are going to be with us, you are expected in your personal time to be in the library, to be doing personal reading. And therefore, I come here to welcome you and to assure you that as a department, we are going to journey with you and to be with you all the four years or two years of study that you are going to be with us. In the library, we have different resources at your disposal. The university has a a collection both in print and electronic form and with the time will take time to guide you to train you on how best to use these resources but in this session I just want to make you aware that there's so much for you there's so much for you to start using both in electronic and print resources before COVID if somebody asked me what is a university I'll have told you that a university is basically buildings around the library this illustration, I liked using it just to illustrate how important the central role a library is in your university life. But now that we are in the new normal, I will tell you that a university is basically internet away from you. And I want to encourage you from onset that many of you have new laptops, you have smartphones, you have access to the internet. Use it to the best of your effort, use it to your advantage, so that at the end of it all, you may be able to graduate not just as a YouTube uh, a learner or an online graduate, but a very good uh, student who is use the best resources available online to the best of their knowledge. Now, you'll allow me just to give you an overview. As I've said, we'll still have many sessions for training, but just to give you an overview of the resources that you can even start using as you start off the semester. From the university website, if you go to the university website, that is www.rongoversity.ac.ke, you can be able to get the library tab. When you click on the library tab, it will bring you to the home page of the library services. On the library services, we've organized different uh, services for you. Majorly, 
uh, of interest to you now will be the e-resources because we are starting off this semester when you are home. You are home. So take time, familiarize yourself with the e-resources that we have. We have different databases for e-books. We have e-journals. We have different local uh, resources that will be of interest to you and different other resources that you could use. Another tab that I would want you to familiarize yourself from onset as we start is the information literacy uh, tab. For you to be able to make best use of inter uh, internet resources, you really need to know how best to exploit the information on the internet. You need to know the type of information you are looking for, where to find the information that you need, how best to use the information that you get on the internet, and how best to acknowledge that you use other people's works. That one, many of us, we could be at different stages, but you need to have self taught, uh, to self teach yourself. You also need to familiarize uh, yourself with the many good sources online that will assist you on how best to use uh, the resources. We've prepared a guide. If you go to this page of information literacy, we've prepared different guides for e-resources, how to use them, how to cite or acknowledge other people's works. So take time to go through all that. And in case of anything, the library, we are just an email away. We are just a phone call away. We should be able to support you. Another interesting tab that I would want you from onset to know is the off-campus access. We know that we are starting this semester away and uh, we've put in place a system that as a student, if you come here, you should be able to log in and be able to use our resources as if you are within the campus. So we are going to create accounts for each and every one of you to be enable you to be able to use our remote uh, access services. Another tab that you might find interesting is the past papers, just to know how the university exams looks like. Click on the past papers, try to find out uh, what is expected of you from onset, do enough practice so that by the time exam comes, you are good to go. And the last tab is the library OPAC. When you click on the library OPAC, you'll get an interface where you can be able to search and know the different uh, books that we have. What we've done, we've put in, uh, in it all the books, both the electronic and the print. So you should be able to search in our database to know which type of book you can be able to use. As I finish, I want to once again to congratulate you and remind you that in the university setup, you are expected to be in charge of your own academic journey. Take time, uh, create time for reading in your typical day, have some time to read, not just for the sake of the academic uh, reason, uh, reasons or rather the coursework, but to read other resources that will assist you. Go on the social media, different social media, and try to identify different professional pages, like them, follow them, so that you continuously learn and grow in your professional life. I thank you, I congratulate you, and welcome you to Rongo University. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is CPA Janet Chumba, the head of finance subdivision, a division in the finance administration and planning. We as finance are excited to welcome you to Rongo University. We understand that this is a challenging and unexpected time, but our goal is to help you navigate the process and ensure a successful start your experience at Rongo University. The finance subdivision has several sections. Among them is the student finance section. This section has six accountants which serve students in the various six schools. You will meet them as you go along and I hope you'll be able to interact and know all of them. My staff and I had the pleasure of helping you during finance registration and it represents some of what we love so much about this university the enthusiasm, the warmth and the careful planning as we welcome our students is always a special experience 
and most important is the effort of so many people coming together to help those who are in need of it. That sense of community is part of what makes this university special and now you are a part of that community too. At the student finance section, you will be assisted with the following. The fee payment policy, which will guide you on all matters of fee payment. The relevant fee structures for your courses. The bank accounts designated for your fee payments. How to do finance registration. How to access and interpret your fee statements how to claim any refunds where applicable, compliance issues related to fees, important deadlines, and other fee-related matters. I encourage you to continuously engage us for any assistance with regards to your fee-related issues at any time of need. We are here to support you and to ensure that your experience at Trongo University remains memorable. Once again, congratulations for choosing to join Rongo University. Thank you. Thank you. I want to start by thanking the Rongo University fraternity for organizing this great event for our incoming students. My work today is very simple, is to alert our incoming students on the various aspects or requirements of uh, Rongo University in the academic division. There are certain things, first of all, uh, you have to register. To do that, you have to visit Rongo University website. And this is where most of the information will be found, including the deadlines of activities, the registration, the fee payment, and exam requirements. Uh, all this information really can be found in the student notice board in the website. For registration, currently we are only allowing online registration. Make sure the registration is complete by registering for courses, that is units that you are going to take this semester. There is possibility that uh, you might defer, one or so of you might decide to defer for various reasons, mainly medical or um, financial. If you intend to defer your studies, the university allows that, and uh, it will be one academic year. And you can go to the student notice board in the website, download the form, fill it, and send it to us. Also, Rongo University has rules and regulations that really govern the activities and well-being of the students, including the exam rules and regulations. And all these will be found in our website. Please make sure you acquaint yourself with them very well because they'll guide you as staying here. <laughs> Lastly, for the newcomers, transfer of programs. Um, a number of you might have been placed in the programs that they probably are not comfortable with. To this, to this regard, the university gives you another opportunity to really change your programs. You can change your programs within the school, and that's what we call the intra-school transfer, uh, just from one program to the other one. Or you can change your program from one school to the other, the inter-school transfer. Uh, this window closes very fast, and the forms, again, are available in the notice board at the website. Uh, when you intend to transfer, please just make sure that uh, you qualify for that program in terms of the aggregate points and other requirements. As you are aware now, you have been placed into a department within a school. Please, uh, you are now going to join your deans and your heads of departments. When you join them, please ask and get clarifications on some issues which might be of concern to you. Thank you very much. And may God bless your stay in Rongo University. May I uh, extend 
greetings to all of you who are watching this uh, program. My name is uh, Professor John Ernest Odada. I am the Dean of the School of Business and Human Resource Development at Rongo University in Migori County of Kenya. I would like to say something about the School of Business and Human Resource Development at Rongo University. Uh, this is one of the six academic schools of the university and the business school, as it is called in short, is organized in two departments. We have the Department of Business Studies and the Department of Human Resource, Tourism and Hospitality Development. Now in these two departments we offer a number of academic programs which lead to uh, qualifications or degrees of Rongo University. We also have programs which lead to certificate qualifications and diploma qualifications of Rongo University. In the Department of Business Studies, we offer courses which lead to a number of qualifications and I would like to list them as follows. We have studies which lead to qualifications in business management, qualifications in strategic management, procurement and supplies management, finance, accounting, and entrepreneurship. Let us take one of, uh, a few of these qualifications at random. Let's take business management, which is the first qualification I mentioned in the list. We all know that uh, we need managers in practically all businesses and in all organizations, both private and government. Ministries need managers to uh, uh, guide the development of their programs and projects. And uh, strategic management and business management are aspects of management which offer uh, strategies for management. Procurement and supplies management offers skills in the way we procure things and in the way we manage the supplies which have been pro so procured. We all know what finance does in the economy and in businesses. And we know what accounting does. It's organizing activities of a business or an organization in a way that can be understood financially so that we know how well the business is doing. Entrepreneurship is the business itself. It teaches how businesses should be managed, how they should be formulated, and how they can be moved from one level to another of operation. Now, those are some of the areas of engagement that people who have got qualifications from the Department of Business Studies 
can find in the real world situation. It's, it's, the, the, the areas are very broad because management, as the name goes, is found everywhere. It is found even in churches. So there is no organization, no entity in the real world situation does not, does not require skills in management. The second department, in the second department, which is the Department of Human Resource, Tourism and Hospitality Management, we have human resource management, and this, as you know, human resource managers are, are popularly known as personnel managers. Many people know them as people who employ and suck workers. But at the university you will come to realize that human resource management has got hiring and firing only as one small area of activity. They manage human resources, they manage employees, and organize employers in a way that can lead to harmony in various workplaces. Then we have in this same department a qualification in project planning and management. And here again we have to note that many organizations have got projects. Uh, church organizations have got projects. Then there will also be qualification in hospitality management. Uh, many of you know that hospitality has to do with hotels, but uh, it doesn't only have to do with hotels. It has to do with hotels and all activities that require services of hotels. So this hospitality management course or qualification of Rongo University will give one a holistic picture of how the hospital hospitality operation operates. And related to it is the tourism management qualification, which deals with the, those who move from one place to another within the same country and those who visit our country from out other countries of the world. These two courses are interrelated in the sense that when these visitors come to the country, they need the hospitality industry to take care of them and to make their visit to the country uh, successful. Now, th that is, uh, in, in a nutshell, uh, the, the structure of the School of Business and Human Resource Development at Rongo University. We believe in hard work. I don't think, in my opinion, that I would like to tell anybody that studying business is better than studying anything else. I also don't want to say that studying any one particular discipline within the business school is better than studying any other discipline. What makes a studying a discipline meaningful is hard work. We believe that with hard work, all disciplines are good because we can uh, make our lives successful by taking uh, our studies seriously in any field. Think of those who went up to the highest level in mathematics. They were known as people who had special skills. But they went far. Some of them became professors. But other people also studied other things which are less challenging, but are equally important. 
They also worked hard and became professors. And a professor is a professor. You don't want to tell me that a professor of mathematics is better than a professor of religion. They're all professors. They have mastered their fields. We believe there for that. With hard work in the School of Business at Rongo University, you can be whatever you want to be in life. Thank you very much. May I take this opportunity to welcome you to the Rongo School of Business and Human Resource Development. Looking forward to interacting with you in the near future. Thank you.